All right, good evening, good afternoon, good morning, and welcome to the stream. It's Sunday, that means we have stationers. Good job on the words. Chat, we go. Ben, good morning. Grav, how you doing? I miss anyone? Uh, R4, how you doing? Good morning. Hey, Baron, how you doing? I'm enjoying your nature walk photos. That sounds weird, but it is. I'm good. I'm good. 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 <clears throat> All right. Let me check audio here. Make sure. Good morning, Ben. Giant. Sometimes my skills of using a mouse not any better of chopping tomatoes real fast. It's dangerous. Let me make sure this works. All right, that works. And. I guess I can do that. Yeah. All right. How was uh, your testing with um, Europa? Um, didn't really get around to it. Oh, okay. <laughs> but right. I've been running the game for the past hour, and it seems all right. Okay, cool. Last Sunday, when we started Europa, Ben, we, we thought it was related to a mod which i'll make sure is we don't need it since we're robots anyways monster good morning to you um turns out ben had a little bit too much dust on his gpu which actually put a, a pin on a to-do list for me to do today I have to pull both my computers out and hit them with a little air outside why not why don't sit on the, the ground they don't sit on a desk but i have um little PC carts 
I guess the best thing they, they're they have wheels on them so they don't quite sit on the ground they're about an inch off the ground but yes every little bit of dust and on Friday I um went to do something I stretched and I pulled muscle my back I don't want to say I was laid up but I did absolutely nothing on Saturday trying to go and like scratch my back I hate getting old yes yes uh, in fact I saw this um Jay's two cents saying that if you use air on your fans they actually generate a small amount of power so you can actually send a little bit of bolts back into your motherboard so yes be careful and they had a little patch didn't say any notes so this is our fresh start and um load it up I mean, hey, I like how the game loads in real fast. <laughs> All right. And do it F5. And then whenever you're ready. All right, jumping in. All right. Kata is going to be about an hour late. I assume you're inside, you're healthy. Uh, I fear to have a dead battery. I might need some rescuing. <laughs> right, hang on. Turn on my... Let's see, oh. Um, you have a dead battery. Is there a battery? Do I have a battery? Is there a battery charger in here? Ah, there's one. Let's see what's going on now. Okay, it's charged. So let me grab this here. Grab this. And then. Oh, God. <laughs> and um, then you have no battery at all. Oh, I'm being handled. All right. You have a battery. I don't have a battery at all. <laughs> you, you had no battery, but now you have a battery. Okay, nope. I think it's uh, consciousness. It's coming back. CPU rebooting. Okay. I can <laughs> see light. <laughs> there you are. So you have a small battery. Hey, Ben. Um, and I guess this is a large battery that's charging portable generator. Okay, I'll work with All that. Right. All right, um, so Kato's probably gonna fall unconscious and I'm gonna go out and find more coal. And is it, a, it's, oh, it's actually not that cold in here. Wow, all right, so let me, this here, dark, yeah, you guys got the dark. And I have some more stuff I can find here. Now, do we have the arc furnace hooked up or the auto lathe? I'm sorry, the auto lathe. Yeah, I need a lot of light in here. I want to make some um, smelted iron. Copper. I want to make some shoots. Basic shoots. There's no iron. Yeah, here. all my basic gear is gone. Even my uh -oh. headlamp. Oh, no, I didn't have a headlamp. Yeah, we didn't have a headlamp. Uh, there's the labeler. I'm assuming he has the data disk. So I'm going to take this iron. Now, I'm assuming we run off the battery that's... Is that cable? I'm wondering if bat the power source, does it come off of this APC that gets charged from outside uh, I believe so yes okay. 
Because the cable goes there, but it stops. Unless it's hidden, I can't see it. Well, it probably is. It's a three way. There's. Door. So. Iron. Don't push him in the airlock. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do some shoots on the um what do we call it the uh, solid generator so I can kind of queue up some coal. All right. First thing on the list is going to be to make, uh, or next thing on the list, it's going to be to make a uh, furnace so that we can make steel. No, it's out front. Batteries. We've already, I think steel's already made. What is your made. favorite waffle? Oh, well, it's mixed batteries. Okay. Well, I'm going to go do this and let you explore. Darp, Darp Chief, how you doing? All right, got what I need. Power's off. And outside. I'm doing good. Um, yeah, so there is a furnace out here and there is some volatiles out here. And, all right. So how do I want to do this? Ben, I'm going to head out and get some more coal. Okay, okay. So I, I thought on this particular save before we started testing, I thought we actually made steel in the furnaces outside. So I don't know if we did or not. I think we built a furnace. I don't think we ever made the steel. Do you have the ingredients for steel? Do you have the uh, coal and the iron? Uh, I'll have to look. Yes, I have the ingredients. All right. Game recommended by Baron. Baron is top notch in this game. I am mediocre at best, but when I have Ben on my side and Kata, things get done. At a certain point, I can do certain things, but after that, I just become the heavy lifter. Appreciate you being here. Thank you. Uh, when you see him, oh, Baron's here all the way. Hey, Baron. Yeah, old age. Tried to clean my ears. That one's blocked since yesterday morning. Oh man, that is annoying. I was actually born with very crooked ear canals, had an operation uh, between sixth and seventh grade to fix it, which it did. But I still, once a year, I have to do maintenance. Right now, we are three robots on a frozen planet. And um, we're trying to collect full iron, copper, 
other stuff that we need. We're currently living in a cave. It's actually Ben's idea. Saved on resources. Uh, the chant. Just kicked out, got kicked out of the game. You got what? You got kicked out of the game. Yeah. Uh, Sounds good. Uh, looks like my station news crashed again. Didn't want the challenge of a zero, what, hydrogen? No, I don't want that challenge. How you doing, Electro? Yeah, back here. Looks like he came right through the uh, airlock crash. Let's see what happens if you try to rejoin. Blowing boar, how you doing? I did see them altering the starter pods for different planets. And there was a small little patch. Didn't say anything was in it though. It doesn't show that you disconnected in here at all. I have a feeling of storms coming. You've been watching um, Split Sight playing venus i watch it i lot i watch a lot of his space engineer stuff day 70 i don't know what day it is um oh wait, actually it says we're on day six you're right well we got nothing loose floating around to be fair i'm not sure robot start isn't easier than human for europa that that's the challenge hey there's discount how you doing there, Ben? Uh, not sure. She's going over the Windows error lock. Looks like it's a Unity crash. Oh, okay. There's a couple shout outs for you guys. All right, so sun's out, been crashed. I'm gonna go throw my stuff around. You guys are welcome. Let me just, let me uh, give you guys a heads up. If Ben is having some constant crashing issues, we either can't do Europa because Played on the moon, played on Mimus, and he didn't crash, so. Might have to switch planets. That would be very unfortunate. Yeah. Ben will get like 10 or 15 minutes and then he'll crash. And you can see it shows him in the game. And that requires a steam reset because of how we connect.
Oh, that, that makes sense. Yeah, we, we, we didn't know about that. So that was something we're, we're getting to. Ooh. It's all about batteries, coal, charging, recharging. You mean in real life? So Ben's already done a final integrity check. He's uh, when he was playing a solo game, he noticed his GPU speed was ramping up. He's cleaned out his PC, a little dusty, um, but it's the only planet Europa that causes any issues. And you know, it's funny. Can I? As he repair yeah he did an integrity check yep just run another one still an issue so uh, you can see disable the um, international uniforms dlc just in case that's an issue okay so you can see here even on my very old pc it uh it runs very high even my gp is being taxed here too so not a very PC friendly game. Yeah, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where I'm at. I'm gonna use Kid as a beacon. <laughs> Sun's going down. That is an upside on the Europe is multiplayer. So much easier to find a way. Uh, we're just going through steam. That's a good point. Browsers are, are 
sink. Yeah, Ben's in the airlock, he crashed. We don't have a we do have a light here. Hey, look at that. Light. up all the yeah. no I don't need those for a robot Forty-two degrees in here. Battery should last a lot longer. Um, was I trying to? Yeah. Power low. Oh, and collapsed.
Oh, wind's making a lot of weird. And here. We did not get around to make any steel. Ben said we had the ingredients. We get some coal. I need to get some coal to make steel. I need to get some uh, fuel. So it's, it's silicone. I think I might have found a solution. Yeah? Um, looks like other people have been reporting the same issue, but it looks like I found a workaround, so I'm gonna give that a try here and see what happens. Uh, what is the possible workaround? You have to, um, well, you don't have to do anything. <laughs> right. I have to launch the game, open up the console, and type a specific command, and that might be the issue. Is that after you connect or before? Let me know when you're about ready so I can do the whole restart. Uh, if everything works out for you, you shouldn't have to. Oh, okay. Because you're still connected on this end, so I have to reconnect our, redo our connectivity. Possible steel was made that maybe it's on Kata's uh, robot. Hmm. Awesome. something in discord so what, what i need to try you hit f3 which is going to open up the console uh-huh and then you type log clear two words two separate words all right 
I guess it did. Ben, I don't hear you. Clearing the log, I have broken Ben. Did we lose you? No, I'm I'm still here. Oh, okay. All right. Hold on. Let me try it again here. See what happens. All right. You're still in the game. Part of the game. Yeah. Apparently, it's a Steam client thing, but we'll see. All right. One sec, guys. So, this stuff is not melting. It's good. Is there anything in the furnace? Uh, let's see here. I don't need this in my hand. Alright, so if we... I got a suit on, but I don't have a battery. Hey, Kata, how you doing? Um, put 
that. Cool. They're extremely loud for old people. Are you kidding? Well, that needs to have a vent on it. Well, that for a sec. Now we got steel. And. Still crashing, but he th thinks he found a solution. Yeah, it's not working yet. So what I'm gonna do is uh, right there. This off for a sec. That off. Swap batteries. Offer. Oh, man. Try something else here. Uh, I'm gonna have to get out of this court for this one, so All I'll right. be back in a minute. We'll do. Let's turn this off. Okay, that's charging a battery, nothing else is on. Battery charger. I'm gonna head outside. the battery here that's 100 so i am going to uh toss that in there Put this stuff down here i'm gonna go look for I feel like a moron been trying to figure out why my computer has been using too much power lately. It refused to ever go below 5.4 gigahertz. Turns out I had performance profile selected under Windows. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I am. Um... You know, it's funny because I recently um, took a look at some stuff myself and things got reset. Um, yeah, I think I have everything disabled. I have it set to high performance.
Hey, Kata. I think it was Kata. Yeah. Yeah, I've just enabled push to talk. That's right. Good morning. Or afternoon in your case. All right, so guys, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do an F5 here, and I'm going to... Um, it's better to use balanced and individually set the options. High, high performance mode or disable power saving features because high performance modes will disable a bunch of... I've never had a problem with it. That's how I've had it set for, for years and years. Um... All right, maybe, maybe that did get switched. Okay. Sure. Uh, hang on a sec. Zero was an option. I'll try that. Anyways, I was going to um, reset Steam. Oh, wow. Steam. I had, um, when I worked at Intel, we had, um, the first PC was a Lenovo and, uh, always sat on a desk and it was connected with a monitor through an RGB cable. And the first time I went to grab it and put it on my lap, I almost burned my legs. Terrible. Oh, girl days. Yeah. And then we got, um, no, I'm sorry. That was a Toshiba I had. Then we, we, we got Lenovo. So they were thinner. Yeah. The heat went away after we got. Nova. Yeah, unfortunately, working at Intel, when you're in certain, you know, actually, they didn't lock down a lot of stuff. There are some things we couldn't do networking wise. And I hate to say it, so I was the first one in my group that had, so we all had a monitor and then we got a docking station. And I was in the first one in my group that would open up my laptop and then have the extended, you know, two monitors. It's funny because most of my group were very, they're all coders. Uh, okay. That and that. Uh, uh, right, you restarted the game on your side, didn't you? I did. Yep. I could tell because he cleared up my issue. Oh, good. All right. What was I looking for? Um, Alright. 
extra good here, I'm gonna try to rejoin. Um, far away. You know, sometimes when I'm driving and I'm texting back and forth with Alex, I'll use that very convenient feature where I can press the microphone and it will take, you know, my talk to text. Sometimes I don't always check what comes across. And, uh, all right, Ben, I'm going to have to help you. You have no battery. And... I don't know what it picked up, but I had sent her a text once. It started off fine, and in the middle of it, I talk about purple trees needing mustard. And um, she had to call me, and she goes, what are you talking about? And I went, well, we need mustard, and um, I said the, so I said something about the trees. She said to check my text. I go, oh, good Lord. So it was... All right, so I'm here. I'm gonna do that. That away. I didn't get any coal, so hopefully some juice in here. I, I did make a couple of batteries. And then... Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, I'm being handled. Sorry. Right. Sec. The fully charged battery. Ben. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. And oh, okay. Battery in Ben. Dropping Ben. Ow. Sorry. I'm also ready. Yeah, let's make sure Ben powers up okay. Ben. Hey, I see eyes. All right, Ben's powered up. All right, go ahead, Kata. Go ahead and hop in. I guess we're out of power. I think it's light to come on. Alright. Going to get some coal. Um Yeah, the battery out here in the APC is dead. There was a couple large batteries that I think were about 50 or 60% in the battery charger. All the windmills are turning away, so that's good. Little trickle charge going on, yeah. has been used here so yep we do have steel yeah it's in the electronic printer i, I made two larger batteries and they were in the oh, battery charger gotcha. inside i think the next thing on the hit list kata had the good idea of making a uh, station a stationary a bigger battery for the base which still requires steel or yeah Any coal. 
No, no, I need that. Power? Did you crash? I kicked out of the game. Oh. All right. The game crashed. All right. Well, we can't keep doing this. Um. Yeah. Do you want to try a moan shot? Yeah. Um. Let's go for something more challenging. Power still. Um. We'll do Mimus. Okay. Um. I was just thinking for troubleshooting purposes, maybe we can try a. The moon for half an hour and see if that uh, gives us any kind of good results. All right. Sure. I suspect the issue is actually known from uh, the developers here, but uh, I'm not sure which world Power it's impacting. Gotcha. But we All do right. know that the moon works solidly, right? Yeah. Uh. I'm going to restart Steam on my side just for good measure. Yep. I mean, any planet with robots is going to be a challenge for power. All right, restarting Steam. So, New World, Moon. Normal. Uh. I'm on the moon. At least the batteries will last.
You guys join whenever you want. Yep. I will let you go first, Ben. What was the average uh, age limit at the uh, birthday party, Kata? Eight. Oh, okay. The loud level was uh, high in decibels is what I'm guessing. All right, Ben's in. something here I'm out collecting coal stuff and we're on the moon so our batteries will last longer Specifically, the load and the, how our three clients communicate with each other. Possible. I have about almost a 10% difference on the. Well, no, it's about the same. It's, it's a little lower. Not that much lower. So the premise of the new start was to make it challenging. A robots needing batteries this is a challenge, even on the moon. Um, then an even more challenge was go to Europa, where you have the cold is really bad for batteries. Um, so that's the whole idea about a fresh start. But we're having some technical issues so that our previous base was on the moon and I don't think Ben crashed at all so I think we're having sink issues sometimes and I don't mean kitchen sink Test run here for 30 to 45 minutes and see if Ben has a problem. If no problems, we'll go back to Europa. And if it's still a problem, then it's probably the uh, Europa. It's like that's why the what was that one planet? Lulin? They pulled Lulin because of performance issues. 
I don't know why. I like that. I thought it was cool. Was that the one that had a 200 kPa atmosphere? Or? Yeah, it had a very small atmosphere, but it had like uh, uh, little um, abandoned sites all over the place. Little tiny installations. Yeah, but I thought the, at the local atmosphere was like not 100 kPa like you find on Earth. It was like 200 plus kPa. Oh, no, I don't think it was. No, it wasn't. It, there was. I can't remember now. To be honest with you. All right. Yeah. I like, that was a fun one. Yeah. I like yeah, that. It was. Uh, that was the one where it was, you, you saw this was a black hole or supernova was your. Swirling, fiery ball in the sky. Yeah. It's a bit like Vulcan that has a black hole for a sun. Yeah, I remember when they started uh, making changes to it. One of the first things they did was remove, or actually they put a time limit on those relic sites. And I guess later they just removed them completely. Oh, I don't know. I never, I always found it a great resource when you're out of, you just go out and wander. Um, and I, I know with stationaries, if you do a lot of exploring, um, it affects the save file or the bin file or whatever it is, because it has to remember every place you've been, what you've done to the terrain and stuff like that. When you go out and wander and you find these huge sites, because you would find, you know, um, I found nuclear batteries, you know, some of them, so. That's it, nuclear batteries in the relic sites, yeah. yeah. You get, uh, you know, the power control modules, the APCs, cables, plumbing, Airlock components. Yeah. Cables, yeah, so many cables. <laughs> Pipes, yep. You can uh, take importantly, railing. Yeah, you could take <laughs> you could take a, a rover with a freight and you could stock up. on the moon so bad at night. Resources, but no coal. 
Um, I got three stacks of coal. Hell yeah, kid has got shop already set up. Alright, so um oops. Stuck. I'm gonna do a pit right here. I am going to um, head out again.
Oh. Ben, I, I did that once with Ben. Started with only pickaxes. He he was not a happy camper, no. No. Once he got his hand drill, he was he was happy. You might as well just give up. <laughs> oh. uh. All right. Uh. Let's reopen up this. Said he was uh, exposed to extremely high volumes of uh, eight-year-olds. I'm slowly recovering. Not quite shell shock, but you know, it's a recovery. some mead I'm gonna have later. There you go. Okay. Well, I've been informed that we are to take out tonight. So I'm gonna have lasagna. That means wheelbarrow me off the couch. This Friday, but next Friday, uh, Alex and I are going to go camping. So she says she's getting off work early. I think I can do a normal stream, but it won't be a co op stream. So this coming Friday will be good. The one of the 31st, last Friday of the month. That's, I just need a little bit more. Yeah, I got a good vein of coal here. I can bring it back if you need it. Nah, I, I need just one and I have everything to, to make steel. Need to charge some batteries now. Fuel for the furnace.
Sun's out, yay. I can see again. Yeah. Alright. Let me, um... Steam today. I didn't. I had a little tiny patch. I didn't even see it apply, and um, the save file was not the same. They had no notes on what they did, so I assume it was a silent hotfix or something. I looked at the beta change log, and there was a lot of stuff in there, so I don't know what actually got applied. Funny, the Steam patches didn't show anything come through, so it was interesting. So, turning out, are the beacons still on, by the way? Oh, you guys are here anyways. All right, what's that? Pipe in it. Has anyone made a furnish yet? No, I can work on that. I also picked up some lead. Okay. Do we start with the the shell of a furnace? Or am I just hit? I thought we used to. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not. All right. I'm making a furnace. I'll put it together. I got everything I need to make steel, fuel, stuff. We have a battery charger over oh, here. Is this standard printer is up? Yeah. When you put when you put like minerals on top of a machine, it reminds me of the days of the of the arcade when you put a quarter to your next in line. Are you reserving your spot here, pipe bender? No one knows what I'm talking about. That old. Oh, I do. I right. do. Um, I do miss arcades. They were fun. I'm going to do my furnace um, the wrong way, which is the only way I know how to make a furnace. I stand it up. A lot of people like to like, put man! Uh, same as when you put a pound coin on the pool. To yes, exactly. Yes. All right. I'm, I'm not out of my depth here. What do I need? Do, do I need a welder? Two iron sheets. Do we have any iron sheets anywhere? I've got some for you. Oh, cool. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a wrench. Now welding. Hey, look at that. Furnace. I'm going to put these back. Oh, geez, All right. Let's 
So sun's out, so I can't do the fuel. But I have everything I need to make steel. Um, have you guys loaded in the existing save? Or have you been bashing my head against the broken Fallout game? Broken Fallout game? No. Um, well, we've been on this moon for 25 minutes and Ben hasn't crashed. So we suspect that the pressures of Europa are causing his uh, computer some problems. I gotta, I might have to sneeze. So the test was to go back to the moon. <clears throat> oh man, that killed my back, by the way. Ooh. Is there any more um, frames left? I need one. I'm sorry your fallout's broken. I'll be playing that tomorrow. Fallout. the uh passive vent should be oh we don't start with passive vents it's active vents never mind are you running modded grab gunner If you have the um, the mod configuration menu, disable that mod and see what happens. There's a beta out. Uh, mine works, but I know people with the with the latest script extender and the mod configuration manager, it was crashing on startup. Trying to get a pass event. I've lost so much time to fall out. It's so good. I know. Oh, I thought there was something cooking. Oh, there is. That's why I didn't buy it. <laughs> I need some iron. You need the locker. Yeah, I'm collecting some here, but I only have a little bit. I've got iron. It just we got one arc furnace and the line. I'm gonna put iron real quick. Don't get me wrong. The uh, Fallout 4, the mod configuration menu, is a great way to get to all the different settings for all the different mods you might be running. So it needs to be welded. I didn't. Perfect. So swap yeah, that there.
Hey, yeah, Prime. Prime. Hey, Flip. Thanks a lot for the 20 months, Flip. I really appreciate that. How the heck you been doing, Flip? Monster, thanks for the hype. Appreciate that very much. Oh, busy work stuff. Yes, yes. See here, I've got that, that, make some fuel. to make steel. steel um the furnace is nice. hot if you guys got something you want to put in there and, and do stuff too and then grab whatever copper is in the pit there that should be a quick easy uh process okay I got gold with much but some. Look at it. All right, coming in hot. You got my mess. Hey, look at that. Lights. Power low. Stole the. I stole the steel. That's all right. All right. So FYI, that's um. Ben, you're on 34 minutes. No crash. Did you, um, Kate, are you making any batteries by chance? Uh, I'm, I'm making a large battery and then I'll make small ones. Right. Oh, no, um, well, yeah, I guess uh, another large battery if we got the resources. Not the time of day change, is it Ben, when it cycles to day and night time? Uh, 
I'm sorry, what's your question? When you crash, is it when the um, game changes from day to night? Because there is an atmosphere change. Oh, no. No, I've had it uh, happen in uh, the middle of the night. I put a chunk of coal next to the solid generator. Um, I need to charge a small battery and I need a replacement for my bigger battery. So, let's see what I do here. You want to use my drill battery there? Um, Give it a couple of seconds and it'll be charged. Yeah, I'll put my. I swapped out with something. I can't remember what I swapped out. Right. Guess I'm good. I just need to swap out my main battery. That should be good. There we go. So, still coal and um, other stuff. The other stuff's important. Flip, I've been doing good. Thank you so much for asking. I've been uh, weather permitting, cranking away in the garage, doing some little woodworking. Nothing, you know, extraordinary, but trying to get a garage that had no storage organized has always been a challenge. So I did make a couple of cabinets and uh, got some shelf pin holes drilled. We're going to have some shelves. And um, I think next week, I'll start on a lower cabinet carcass. Then I'm going to go through the process of leveling, anchoring those down, making a platform for the miter saw so I can get that off the bottom of the shelf, and start working on some drawers, slides. Never done that before either. Oh yeah, edge banding. <laughs> you know, it's, it's challenging when you don't know what you're doing, and you can watch as many YouTube videos, read as many documentation you want, but you know, once you actually do it, you go, oh, all right. Really don't need to have the iron on blazing hot. And when that glue starts to cure, you better hurry. But, tell you what, it takes some rough looking edges of plywood and makes it look a lot nicer. Uh, I think the generator's output is connected to the battery's output. Yeah, I need to move this. Yeah, I can do that. Oh, do you have some heavy cables? I do. I know it's quite a few by the printer. <laughs> Oops. Alright, so where do you want to put this battery? I was thinking right here. Okay. Get the basics in place there, I'll start wiring it up right away. I found no coal, but I found copper, iron.
Yep, big battery's charging. Oh, did we make a big battery? Big, big battery? Yep. Nice. There is something wrong with the game. All I can see is a green screen. <laughs> see that or darkness. What's dude, how you doing? That's night vision. The robots. Robots don't want to start with. Right now the sun's coming out. Hey, cool. Stop. Put the rest of the heavies in that locker. Well, I've never used night vision, so I don't know how that works. Light amplification. It's like shelves that are uh, shelves. When I used to play Dungeons and Dragons. The um, elves had elf vision, or or they called it night vision, infravision. Yeah, so it gave off heat sources, not a clear representation of what's going on. It's game night vision, you know? I remember when I used to play Modern Warfare and Call of Duty. That's how the night vision worked. Unless somebody shined a flashlight at you. Or oh, tossing a flashback. Yeah, or tossing a flashback. There's a couple of larger suit batteries for you all. Yay. I've learned from TV that robots are supposed to have pop-ups showing detailed information. You mean like a Tony Stark Iron Man HUD? Sure, why not? Uh, closer to finding the culprit, added a few quality of life mods that were missing last night. One of them was the culprit now narrowing it down slowly. Why this didn't show up last night, I blame Todd. Yeah, I blame everything on Todd Howard. People are still nuking his base in Fallout 76. No, no, that's um, that's not Todd Howard. That's um, uh, the other guy, um, Phil, Phil Spencer, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's being nuked, sorry. <laughs> yeah. But he, he got his revenge. He did something. I didn't read what he did, though. Uh, it works by cutting out the light except for a narrow range because normal light in the wavelengths and by cutting down one or narrow range... It will unconfuse the cones, gotcha. All about the cones of light. I like a snow cone. Ice cream. I do know that whatever, so infrared, I guess is what we have a camera on the side of the house um, and a while back it was interesting of a little turf war that transpired between uh, raccoons and possums now, I don't know what these raccoons were doing or I can't remember if it was possums but there was there was these 
very small, not even a trench, but it looked like they had walked in circles over and over, like they were doing, you know, um, crop circles in the grass. And um, what I saw was the raccoons doing some stuff, and then all of a sudden, possum showed up, and then all of a sudden you see these eyeballs going all over the place, so someone was angry about what was going on. That's all I know. Come get your headlamps. Hey. Okay. Yay. Ooh, now I get to pick one of four mods. Oh, no. Still trying to find coal. Power low. There's. Also been him a lot of fun with that cosmeteer. What I've learned is that the weapons have got an arc, so you don't have to put weapons on the front or the nose of your ship. Put them on the side, and they will they have like a 180 degree arc. Went, oh, that's convenient, or a 90 degree arc at least. And uh, so now you can load up the front of your ship with armor and force fields and let people shoot at you while you're still shooting at them as long as you're not pointing backwards sure why but those two lights you installed Kata, they're visible from quite a distance they are even it during the day the beacons on it <laughs> mm. jerry how the heck are you doing um yeah europe has been a challenge um more of a technical issue Ben's computer keeps crashing. Not actually, the client, the stationer's client keeps crashing. So we've been going, uh, we're at 50 minutes on the moon and he hasn't had a problem. It's anywhere between up to 15 minutes, Ben will have a client crash on Europa. So I have a feeling that there's a lot of going on communication wise and um, it's causing a problem on this. So might have to change up our challenge we can still do something similar to that on minus we just won't have we'll still have power problems right so any 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 planet we start on as a as a robot you need the power but slapping a bunch of solar panels on the surface of minus will be kind of a challenge hey look at that monster thank you so much for the gifted sub to jerry i appreciate that very much death yeah you know that's not so hard as long as you're careful and you're not standing next to a tank that overpressurizes or the furnace I guess yeah it was very kind of you monster thank you very much
Uh-oh. Uh. Thank you, son. Yeah, oh yeah. Wireless battery show, they rock, yeah. When you're doing a lot of work at the base, then you're gonna be there for a while. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got to be careful though. Make sure you're, you know, because <laughs> if you have a battery in your suit, it drain really fast. You got to make sure you got a spare battery of some kind. I'm not good on Venus. I died on Venus. I forgot Venus didn't have any ice. So when I was trying to do stuff, coming up empty only to find out there was no ice. Yeah, I got to a death loop on Venus. Hard. I would die, respawn, and then die again. It's just incredible. You walk outside and all of a sudden your CO2 is just it's filling up before you can even think about what you want to do. Yeah, that's never made any sense to me. Okay. Um... It's a little battery charger somewhere. It's in the cupboard. Oh. Uh, swap that out. And oh, that's right. We have spare batteries in. Here there. Yeah. Um, okay, I'm turning the beacon off. The battery's almost dead, anyways. Put that in there. Just. Then.
Um, no, you mean, uh, um, a creative? Nah. Although, I, I guess that could be a challenge, too. If you're trying to, you have to find an asteroid and start building stuff off of it. Where's the headlamp at? Hey, love it. Nice. Hey, look at that. I got a flashlight. You can see stuff. All right. Um, it's so much better. Oh yeah. Hey, you for a bit of a test uh, there, Andy? Yeah. I was going to give it three more minutes, and that would be one hour on the moon. Okay. One of the things that the game has, uh, typically has issues handling is two people mining the same area. So why don't you join me over here in this massive vein of many resources I found here, and let's see if we can crash the game. All right. I can do that. Let me find you. All right. You're right over here. Oh, Kata, I'm sorry. Can you go... Swap the battery on the beacon. Beacon's off. Sure. Okay. As soon as I find it. It's kind of by the pod. Hi, Ben. Ben. Take him. Thank you. All right. Get my here and a nice treasure trove of stuff here uh, that's everything copper gold iron coal yeah Oxide or uh, volatiles. Now, the one thing I've noticed that they finally removed from the game is like if you're too close and you're drilling, you could the stuff would fly back and you'd get suit damage. I haven't seen that in a long time. It used to happen to me a lot on Mars. It seems like Mars' surface was a lot, a lot more tough. Let's see if we can uh, stress that anymore. Hey, Kata, you want to come over here and do some drilling with us? We're trying to do a stress test, see if it causes a problem with Ben. Yeah, sure. Cool. The drilling party. Uh, you can have it on Vulcan at times, high pressure. Build in the void plays your orientation. Oh, yeah, yeah, You're up in the asteroid belt, yeah. I've never tried Vulcan. I just know I would, it's like the death planet.
Robot miners. I'm gonna turn the beacon on. Say what? I'm going to turn the beacon on. You did? Oh, okay. What was that, Ben? That, I thought he was asking how to turn the beacon on. Oh. There's a... Was that what you were asking? How to turn the beacon? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's just uh, right below the light bulb. The switch. Yeah. There's... He is going to spend the whole stream going, how do you turn on the beacon? <laughs> it's done. If you do it, like, with a bare hand and you try to go turn it on, you'll pick it up. You go, no, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, I kept picking it up. I was looking for, like, a typical switch. Oh, no, it's... You figured it out. I'm smart. Yeah. And we're just trying to see. Ben has done some research and says the game stresses out when there's multiple people in the same area finding the same area. Let's do a dad joke. Let's see what we get. I uh, just watched a documentary about beavers. It was the best darn program I ever. He said, damn. <laughs> I get it. All right, there's three robots mining. Oh, uh, yeah, the challenge was mining the same area at the same time. Yep. Oh, right. Seems to work just fine. Yeah. If we can clear an area. Let's um let's do a save on this, and uh, let's switch back to the Europus um, save and see what happens. We're good. Get the platform. Yeah, hold on to this save. We might uh, we might push it further. Yep. Doing a save. I wait for you guys to hop out. No, not hop. Hop out of the game. All right. You said hop. I know I did. I'm sorry. All right. Then we'll leave. Is here, but Ben. All right, jumping in. Oh dear! Oh, you know where? Not looking good at all. Want <laughs> me to? Reset everything, or you know, battery. Uh, let's, let's see what happens. All right. 
We're on day eight, so we have storms now. Let me do this. Let me uh, reset my steam. It could be me when I quit out it, my client stalled. Like it is now. And for those who are asking, why do we reset Steam? That's how we connect. So our connection is done through Steam. So if something just dis didn't disconnect correctly, it's best to restart Steam. All right, Steam is up. Launching stationers. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, Kata. The new word twerks. I don't know. Bucket twerks. Oh, I gotcha. Ben, go ahead and try. All right. Yeah, that so is my end. Good. right away wow i saw the unity uh icon appear in my task bar blinking red and it just disappeared right away and that was it, it was failed to register the upnp no enabled devices were discovered i don't think that was you though What was that command? Clear log. log clear. Log clear. Yeah, we might. All right, so let me um. Okay, I had a null ref, but actually. Uh, invalid operation exception stack empty and a whole bunch of uh, Unity stuff here. All right, let me load up the moon again. Exit out. Uh, I'm not even going to restart my Steam client here just to see how well this works. Yep. All right. Steam is up. Stationers. All right, we're launching the game on my side.
So in your spare time, Ben, try to do a single player Europa and see if that causes you problems. If it is, it's definitely something good to pass along to the devs. Yeah, I'm even willing to, you know, try and do a reinstall of the game if necessary. Oh, okay. All right. Um, loading moon after Europa save. So far, yeah, it's just Europa because we, we were on the moon. We did a Mimus test also, and that worked fine. So, so far, it's just... You guys are looking at each other in a weird way. Watch out, Jess. I'm going to jump in here if you're ready. Yep, go ahead. Might be a Europa Stormbug. It was, well, he's been crashing since day one, but yeah. yeah sometimes it would take 10 minutes, sometimes 20. Sometimes All right, restarting the timer minutes, here. Now it's just that, nope, we're dead. All right, Ben's in. Yep, go ahead, Kata. And I'll be honest now, Ben and I haven't been on Europa since they added Europa. And we had a lot of problems then too. All right, everyone's in, yay. All right. Uh, all right. Power low. Um, all right, so I tell you what, until uh, we hear from Ben, let's treat this as our is our new start and i hate to put the stream through that but um we did have a previous moon but it was like started i don't want to say haphazardly i didn't know what i was doing so um so what we wanted to do was have, have the <laughs> generator here because battery's full oh okay i didn't even look at the battery um so the the plan is to do something different way to span the chat with broken stuff that's my job um so there was an idea floated that we would if ben can't get to europa working an asteroid playthrough might be a challenge yeah but that's if you do asteroid it's creative and i don't want to just spawn stuff in I think I think what we wanted to do was do underground. That's true. That's true. Yeah, building is on top with an underground connection between them. So so let's think. Let's uh, speak to that for a little bit. Um, if um, if if we build a say we have a tool platform, we put walls around it, we pressurize it, not that we need it because we're robots, but if we're gonna have like a, um, a room for, uh, we'll just say a greenhouse. Again, pressurized, to get from point A to point B, we have, how do we get down and up into it? Ladders? Um, Elevator. Yeah, I mean, you okay. know, from an OSHA perspective, OSHA <laughs> perspective, um, you want the elevator, but you want a physical backup, which would be the ladder. Okay, or the stairs. Or the stairs, yes. Okay. All right. Yeah, we can actually, uh, you know, flex that new uh, set of staircase there. That'd be cool. The ladder can be attached to the backside of an elevator. Oh, I never knew that. Oh, that's cool.
All right. Uh, do we still have a centralized power management as a goal, or? Um, I think, yeah, yeah. So we were gonna do like a way of easily monitoring to. So you're gonna do a distribution center, right? Okay. So I'm going to work on a building for storing the gas. Um, and I'm going to throw a curve into it. I'm going to put it underground. All right. Cool. I have a hidden gas chamber. When there's an explosion, it'll be a crater. that will be <laughs> so uh, are you going to be using tanks or are you just going to use empty rooms? No, no, no. I don't want to become weird and a trend center there, Kata. I'm going to use uh, what we found out last time, starting with small tanks was kind of a, a useless step because they fill up so fast. So I'm going to use large insulated tanks. And well, I guess if it's underground in, in a pressurized room, they don't have to be insulated. We could uh, temper temperature regulate the room with circulation and keep the room at a certain temperature like and that it. would uh and then in between it uh we could have a um a cooling room you know uh, or a temperature a temperature regulation room for gases come right from furnaces it goes to this room till it's a certain temperature and then it goes into the filtering or vacuum the room and then keep the contents at a certain temps. A base would look nicer though, even if you need to keep it pressure. Yeah, I found the small tanks pretty useful because it's uh, using evaporative filter from my atmosphere, atmospherics. That's always been a challenge, I mean, um, because the different gases have got different uh, uh, properties for the freezing and liquefying and stuff like that. So Electro is saying, or a vacuum of the room. That's what Cato is saying, like use rooms. Oh, I see. And then, yeah, yeah. Okay. The, I think what I was saying is that I was going to have a, a separate room per gas and well, that's going to be kind of a challenge to get back and forth still all right yeah. i'm gonna go go out and collect resources for steel so i make a bunch of steel frames and whatnot um Make sure all my batteries are good. There are separate, all right. Large tanks have got data ports on them too, right? They do this. Oh yeah. I think we might need to build another one of these. Yeah, I get it.
iron smelting here. Grab this copper. I'll smelt that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. The rotation of Earth really makes my day. This dude really pushes the envelope family friendly sometimes. Oh. oh, there's a bunch of pipes here. So I was going to make a The white belt in the locker that's got ice in it, by the way. Thank you. It's not white ice, it's just ice in general. I'm turning this tiny amount of water into fuel. All right. Sun wants to peek out again. All right. Blame the internet. Okay. All right, two arc furnaces up and running. <clears throat> Pretty nice. Swap the battery on the beacon.
So, oh, oh, okay. So we need a transformer. We, uh, if I added the other arc furnace, we bursted a wire. That was my fault. Is processing gold by any chance? No, it was iron and um, copper. I'm trying to figure out why a battery wasn't charging. I saw the light was on, but it was a dark, uh, a dark green. I think we're just pulling too much. There they go. They're on the independent network. All right. There you go. Hey. Um, I can't remember what I need the battery for. The drill? Yep. Alright, I'm out of here. Oh, congratulations, Saturn. So the operation went without any complications and you are alive. What? Yep. Or the last time I had, <laughs> I had my gallbladder removed and uh, a friend came to visit me I was still under the effects of anesthesia. And I said something that was totally left field. <laughs> and he leaned over and says, they give you a different brain. <laughs> and I was just in, in my frame of mind because I was still coming out of anesthesia. I'm going, well, I don't know. He was making fun of my weakened condition. I think I think when I was coming out of it, they were um, using swabs that were dipped in lemon juice or they're lemon flavored. And I think I asked for some more lemonade or something like that. Oh, good. Good, Saturn. Thank you for keeping us in the loop. Really appreciate that. You know, from the distance, those two lights look like a car headlights. Yeah, they do. It's to keep the air away. <laughs> keep, the, keep the wildlife at bay.
shadow. Yeah, he's he's here. Yeah, we're having a problems with uh, Europa. No, no super old planet challenge. So we're gonna still still challenging. I mean, your, your robots but well, the, the need for battery recharge is not so, you know, an issue anymore. I'm not going to get any lucky with good veins of anything here. Still good. Oh, I kind of forgot where that was. I'm just I'm I'm looking for iron and coal just so I can punch out a couple. Uh, uh, heading of about 300 degrees. Okay. I'm out in the wilderness. Okay, did you make an electrolyzer? Is that what you made? I do, they keep blowing power lines. Alright. You're gonna get, have to go a heavy cable with a transformer or something.
All right. Furnace is hot if anyone wants to smelt anything. Oh, okay. Yep. Um, actually, if you want to throw in some copper in there, um, assuming we still need some. Out mining for iron, but I think we need to make more steel. Yeah, I got actually two recipes full for uh, steel. Oh, can someone put a battery in me? Oh, did you die? Oh, I wasn't paying way. attention. All right, I'm on my way. All right, I see the pod. This is where uh, Ben gets his revenge. The manhandling. The robot abuse. Sweet, sweet revenge. All right. <laughs> I just got here. Oops. Battery. Robot. Oh, you got him? Yeah. New battery. There you go. That's just tossed you to the ground. There Thank you. Go. you. Yeah. Go ahead this. I wasn't paying attention. That's all right. Still flop around on the ground there. There you are. Pads on the ground right here. Looks like we're getting ready to run out of power. Start up the generator, nice. Save some power around here. The electrolyzer that's sucking that power. Yeah. I'm gonna turn that off. Alright, so before you hook it up, let me use the oxide and stuff I have to fire this up. No worries. Just waiting for it to uh vent, it's almost So where was the water? Oh, the little the little canister that came on the lander. Oh, I gotcha. I wonder what happens if a robot tries to drink water. I just drank water. I wonder if I'm gonna rust. Oh no. Uh, can you have some food as well? Probably. I can't eat. Oh, okay. All right, 
that should be good enough, hopefully. Stays on now, so I can do another patch. Once again, I can get lucky. up this time. Leave some of that pressure. Alright. All right. So yay. Any chance we can get one of those new uh, mining circuit boards for the tablet, the resource finder? You mean the color one? Yeah. stacker in the locker just in case someone wants it for a machine. Thank you. I didn't find any iron, but I found lots of silicone, so bring that back. We need electrum, inver, constantin, and silicon for it. Alright. Okay, I'll get cracking on that then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Being a safe distance, I see. Very good. <laughs> well, no, I, the, the furnace is all yours if you want to. I, I've made all the steel I've needed. I've attached a fuel pump for you, Ben. Awesome. Thank you. There's not much fuel, but there is some. 
there's a, a busted <laughs> i was wondering why the light was so uneven it uh lost a cable up here I only had one headlight. So once we get the printer mods on, we can probably um, start digging down. Well, I, what I'm going to do is from where the furnace is, I'm going to head in this direction, which is like, I guess, 180. Yeah, I'm going to head 180. I'm going to go over like 15 frames, and then I'm going to start um, digging down. That way there's plenty of space in between for whatever. And then I'm going to go right. start doing the underground. So do I have the auto lathe tied up? You need it? Uh, no, no. It's, I'm going to steal some of your frames, but it's fine. All right. Oh, I thought you were going to work on... Uh, Making your, your tablet. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to take a minute to sort that out because um, it needs alloys which require the advanced furnace. Oh, does it? No, I don't think so. Doesn't it? Um, it needs electrum, invar, constant, and silicone. No, you can do all that through the normal one. Well, you can't do invar on a regular furnace, can you? Sure, sure you can. Oh, yes, you can. That's right. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Oh, fun times. Um, okay, let's go get the elements then. Do I need to print a fire extinguisher? <laughs> yep. I um I learned the hard way when I tried to do invar my my very first time I did I blew up the furnace and it left a nice crater so now whenever I tried to use the advanced furnace for the other stuff I always made sure um I did it away from everything Kid is trying to put out fires when there are no fires. There he goes. Thank you. It's in the locker. All right, who's got the white belt? Uh, not me. There it is. Me. Now it looks like kato has got fuel pretty much going to the furnace though, so you don't have to worry for daytime, nighttime. Yeah, that'll come in handy for sure. Um, except he's got it going to the wrong. Yeah, you got it wired to the wrong port. <laughs> well. <laughs> Let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, yeah. It's, I'm just going, why do you want to vent the fuel? There's no chance that would have backfired, right? None whatsoever. Is there a, a canister of water, or are you just using the pipes to store the water? 
The, the canvas is in the fire extinguisher. Oh, really? Yeah, they need canisters now. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. You can um, make a flamethrower. That's so cool. <laughs> well, then uh, I guess my question is... Oh, wait. How do I do this? I put that there. 18 liters in the pipes of water. Okay. Okay, the fuel is now wired in correctly. There you go. Surprised Mr. Osha didn't catch that. Hey, you want this job? Uh no, not really, no. I don't I don't like flipboards. <laughs> All the paperwork I'd get paper cuts. Alright, so we tried to do this on Europa. I know it's very misleading on the title. I'll uh, make sure it's clear next time. But um, the challenge is we're all robots, so not so much of a challenge per se, but if we run out of battery, what happens, Kata? Uh Ben has to come rescue me. <laughs> um, uh, we're on the moon. So it's the, the only real challenge is creating your own atmosphere for doing what you need to do. Um, we wanted to do Europa because robots needed batteries. Batteries are hard to come by um, because you need steel. And since you're using a battery as a robot and the cold is hard on batteries, it was making it a steep challenge. So now we... Um, we had to move away from Europa. Ben's client kept crashing. Haven't had any issues here, so we have some. We think it has something to do with the uh, constant change of environments and stuff on Europa. Maybe even the storms. So what we're going to do is anything that has to do with the base, whether it's a a room, uh, we're going to pressurize all the rooms. We're going to do. Uh, one of Ben's favorite thing is we're going to do a base-wide filtration circulation system. And uh, I'm going to do a room underground that's going to store our gases. Why does it look like my robot works at like Benny Hanna? My portrait. It looks like I have a headband on. here or I have to be rescued well that one's good I'm going to build an underground greenhouse oh cool you know something they just changed too is the the chickens the livestock Yeah, you can actually kill them now. Oh, the chickens. That was a really weird bug where their lungs would appear everywhere. Oh, oh, gnarly. All right, I think I am done hogging the auto lathe for a little bit. So I'm going to go start laying the groundwork. So is this platform our essential thing or do we want to branch out from here? Uh, say again? Is this our central point and we're going to branch out? Um, 
what we could, what I'm going to do is I'm just using frames so I can get even, get a right number of spaces out, and then these frames will go away. Um, I mean, this could be the, the tool platform. It might have to get moved because I think if we dig up ore, we want to sort the ore, not sort the ore, we want to smelt the ore, sort the output, store it, and then bring the ore back to where it's used the most, right? The ingots mainly get used here. So, um, that could be a challenge to not move it. I, I don't know. I lost count. Three. No, we think we're eventually going to move everything that's on this starting platform somewhere else. Okay. So gradually get replaced with nothing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Count correlation twenty. It's always a challenge. This will start. Um, I think for me is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the basis, the the basics uh, above ground. And then once I get an idea of what I want to do, then I can uh, move it downstairs. chances I can make a big battery large oh, I can yeah. but it, I'm getting tired of swapping out my battery in my and real minor thing I've added another station battery. Oh, okay, Product is going to be the usual array of solar panels because it powers everything, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, we could, um, so we had on the on the other one and we stopped at I think 50 or 60, and then that forced us to go to alternate power generation. You want to 
Take it down to 30. And if 30 panels can't sustain us, we're going to have to do something. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. I'll work on that. Have you gotten your tablet yet? Your the buying circuit? No. Oh. No, I haven't made any of the fancy uh, alloys. Oh, you haven't? Oh. I work on some of them, some IC10 chips. Okay. Yeah, we do need silver. Oh, really? Silver? I thought silver was only used in the, the big uh, uh, filters. I didn't realize. There's a... No, silver is required for a Anybody remember which way the sun rises? Um. One eighty. Right. Yeah, one eighty. Okay, so uh, I want the arrays to go up that way. All right, guys, about a 10 minute warning. Okay. Now, elevators aren't pressurized, right? Oh, you could, you can build a room around them. Right. Okay, all right. Or, uh, yeah, you can build uh, walls around it. Okay. Hog in the auto lathe again. Oh, you're going to do a raised solar platform? Yeah. Cool. Go big or go home. That's right. Is your oxide? 
There's one right behind you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. I helped. I helped. I helped. And Kelvin too hot for lead. What? Too, oh, you have too high temperature to melt lead? Wow. Oh. Uh, you have to solder them like that. Oh, oh I'm yeah. Slowly waiting for it to cool down. We have solder. Yay. Nice. Um, tape blender. So it takes five normal tank kits to make one big one, right? Yes. Yeah, thanks, Discount. Yeah, it was a, a bummer that uh, I was looking forward to Europa because, like I said, the, the last time I played is when they first added it. Tank. One insulated. Steel. Um, there's a, another stacker in the locker. Then. Oh yes, thank you. So let's see. As convenient. Yeah, it's amazing how much stuff you can get done when you have more than one person working on stuff.
All right, about five more minutes, gents. Dan, was that you swapping your battery before you passed out again? No. I think it was. Oh, whatever. Have a quick look for some silver. Discount that one game you're playing was Vintage Story. It reminds me a lot of, um, I don't want to say Stardew or Minecraft or both. Oh, no kidding. Okay. That that makes That makes sense. It's amazing. There's two games that I'm afraid to actually really get into. Minecraft is one of them because I had my taste of it and it's so, so much you can do because it's such, and you can play on such a potato of a PC too. It's just so much you can do in that game, the depth and uh, there's, um, and the other one I'm afraid of is Elite Dangerous. I so badly want to play that game, but I just know that if I get started, that's all I'll do. Yep. So just as I a go through massive phases on Elite where I just play it for weeks. Well, I even have the, the voice attack so I can do certain things without having to remember what the key combinations was. Alright guys, go ahead and uh, figure out where we're at and let's wrap up. dangerous and clearly immersive in vr alex has got vr too and i know she'd let me use it and then i would not come up for deals <laughs> all right so just in case there's some hiccups why don't you guys uh stash your stuff somewhere in a crate yeah, or something go check out ben's uh oh yeah look at there Those are, uh, I want to space them out, Ben, maybe. Is my alignment wrong? I could have sworn the sun rises in the east. Uh, oh no, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Yeah, 90, you're right, you're right, 90, you're right. I said 180, I was wrong. I'm out. All right, Ben. Kata, pleasure. Catch you next week. Yep. Catch you guys next week. It was fun. Thanks, guys. All right. See you, Kata. All right, guys. Tomorrow is Monday. It's either going to be Cosmic here or Fallout. I'm feeling a little Fallout-ish, so probably that tomorrow. 
See you guys tomorrow. Thanks a lot. Let's roll some credits here real quick. Do, 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 do. Uh, Flip, thanks for the resub. Monster, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, that was to... Um, what is this? Oh, to Jerry. Thank you a lot. All right, Grav, we'll see you later. You guys have a good one. I'm out of here.